Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm here in Bay Estate in Hazel Court and uh, we've just brought to the market this great three bedroom semi-detached house here behind me. So I'm going to do a virtual viewing of it. Um, so hopefully that'll be of help to you as a first viewing. So first I want to give you an idea of the location. So Bay Estate, if you're not familiar with it, is a very popular uh, residential area on the outskirts of Dundalk. This particular house um, has a lovely quiet setting in a little cul-de-sac. Um, and although it's nice quiet setting, it's very easy, for example, you're a very short walk to shops, to schools. There's a great school, Bay Estate National School, and um, it's on a bus route into town. So the property itself, it's an end of line, semi-detached property. It's set back a little off the road as well, which is lovely. And it has, as you can see there, an integrated garage. Now, the property has had some important upgrades and modernizations in recent years, including windows and the addition of a downstairs shower room. So we're going to go and take a look inside. So now we're going to go into the house. You can see at the entrance, you have a storm porch sliding door, which is going to make the house warmer inside. And then when we go inside into the entrance hallway, staircase and tiled floor. Into the right is a very nicely well-proportioned living room. Now that's an electric fire there, but you could also uh, restore that to a solid fuel fire, making sure that the chimney is okay. So you can see there, very important to point out things like that's a two plus one, no, three plus one plus one suite, takes it very capably, plenty space. And then there's alcove for your uh, bookcase or whatever you might have your TV. Okay, so that's a nice mahogany fireplace with a tiled inset. And then that's a, looks like a semi-solid beach wooden floor. Now we're going to go on into the kitchen next. So the kitchen is in two parts. You have a kitchen area and then you're going to have around here uh, a family room area. But I'll just dwell for a few more moments on the kitchen area. So at the moment it has a freestanding oven here, sink area, overhead storage, and then a breakfast bar. So you'd have your chairs there. Okay. And then in the rest of the room, a nice little seating area and here fireplace. You see, it's very nice with a cast iron inset. Okay. Now just to show you from the back, that room, it's a good big size. Now, Going on through the kitchen, you have straight ahead, you see there is space and plumbing for utility, washer dryer there, very handy. Into the right, downstairs shower room. This space is fully tiled, toilet, wash hand basin and shower with an electric shower there. That's the sound of the extractor fan, but there's also natural ventilation. The window and now the integrated garage. What a bonus in a house to be able to have an integrated garage because uh, subject to what you want to do, it provides so many more options to the house. And um, bearing in mind that you have a shower room beside, this could make for a really good downstairs bedroom, which really provides a future proofing that many people are looking for when they buy a property. So this would be a great size for a bedroom. Equally, it could make for a super home office if you wanted some dedicated work from home space. So lots of flexibility with that. Now, we're out to the back garden. It's a lovely, very private um, uh, back garden. You can see there, that's the oil tank. It's oil-fired central heating. This back garden is really great. The hedging on it, really mature. So you have, uh, it's, it's sort of very low maintenance there, but um, you could make a fabulous garden if you wanted to. Um, but the, it's, it's great and it's very private to the back. You can see that. Okay. Now that's the back of the house there. There must at some point in the past have been a back door out of there, but that's now where the shower is. Okay. So now we're going to go back inside and I'm going to take you upstairs to look at the accommodation up there. That's your side gate through to the front of the house. Now 
Now, as you see, this property is vacant, so um, it is possible uh, to do viewings uh, at your convenience, but I would like everybody to do this, uh, this virtual viewing as their first viewing. That's just at the top of the stairs. You're looking out onto the, um, the roof of the garage and uh, to the side boundary. Now, first is the bathroom. So again, fully tiled, you know, perhaps ready for a bit of updating, but absolutely nothing wrong with this. All working very well, tiled floor. Little, uh, the wash hand basin is built into a vanity unit there. Okay, and bath. Then onto the first bedroom, this is a double room. So you see there, good size. This is definitely a double. Okay, and that's just to give you an idea to the back. That's where we've just come from. All right. You can see there behind the door, it's a little built-in wardrobe. Okay. Now, onto the next bedroom at the front of the house. Single room, but a very good single. That's at the front. Okay. The house is really in great condition, barring somebody wanting to put their own stamp onto it. There's really uh, nothing to be done of, of urgency or, or necessary requirement here. This is the front bedroom, uh, the, the larger of the three bedrooms, lovely double room, carpeted floor, nice big window. And also because of the position of the house, you're not, nobody's looking out onto you out there. Nobody's looking in upon you. And you, there's about five or six houses in front. And other than those six houses, there's going to be no other traffic really to speak of coming uh, outside. So in, inside this room also is the hot press. Good modern cylinder there. And then in here, some bonus further storage. All right. So we're going back down now. Down the stairs. I'll just give you a quick look again into the living room. Really important space in any home. And in the kitchen. That kitchen um, would have a lot of different uh, options if you were going to um, upgrade the kitchen. There's a lot of different things that you could do, but to be honest with you, uh, not urgent because the, the basis that's there is a really good kitchen. It's a really good solid wood kitchen to begin with. So um, already a bonus. So now we'll go back outside and we'll just have a little recap on what we have here. So it's a semi-detached house. It's got three bedrooms, two of them are double. It's got a bathroom upstairs and it's got a shower room downstairs. It also has an integrated garage, so uh, a lot of room for maneuvering if you wanted to put extra work from home space on or if you wanted to make that into a bedroom or into a family room. A lot of things that you could do there. You can see there, um, that's the garage shuttered roller door in front of me. So nice quiet spot. Pardon the bus behind me pulling up. And um, we're able to do viewings now, so give us a call and uh, we'll set you up for the viewing. And if you have any questions, do let us know. Okay, listen, thanks for coming on this virtual viewing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.